Hi there, my name is Felix and this is How It's Creative. Today we're going to take a sneak peek at the first official Windows 11 Insider build. Microsoft Insiders post a tweet on which I replied by asking when the first beta build would be available, on which they replied later this summer. As a result of this reply, I immediately installed the Windows 11 developer build on my machine, as a lot of people recommend you not to do. It's been out for 24 hours and I've been really enjoying it. I've been playing some games and edited 4K video without any issues. In this video, I will show you my first impressions with Windows 11 in 4K. Let's check it out. So here we are. The first thing we'll notice is the nice wallpaper, the center transparent taskbar, with some more uh, spacing as well on the right side. And uh, yeah, let's just press start. So this one is actually looking beautiful and I already see some animations going on. Um, they actually are respecting now the beautiful third party um, icon design. So if you press on all apps, we have still a list here. Oh, I see this cutting out a bit there, but uh, yeah, let's go back. So we're seeing some, some beautiful designs, very minimalistic, very simple, um, some user settings, a power setting, also pop up, slide up with rounded corners, looking very beautiful. So let's press search. All right, this is very fast. So for example, File Explorer, we get that. So it actually works the same as just pressing start. And then, uh, so yeah, I would say you can also use start for this. Um, right here, we have the task view with virtual desktop. So here, this is a different desktop. I'm seeing some, oh, artifact just updated. Um, but yeah, very nice. And then as well, you can add some new desktops. If we click this, it will expand. Widget area. We have some nice widgets here. Um, we can also see here that if you can add a widget, uh, you only have these options right now which would be very nice if there would be um, some third-party applications or widgets in here, for example, Discord or WhatsApp, that would be very nice. Uh, but for now, this looks great too. We got some weather, calendar, um, some news. Probably we'll use Edge, search the web here. So the thing we're noticing as well is uh, once we're opening an application, for example, so let's say Spotify, and uh, we close it, it actually makes a very beautiful animation in a taskbar. Unpinning this one from the taskbar, you see that already, that beautiful snap to the center. The animation is very nice and as well opening it and minimizing it. So if we're opening then Spotify here, um, PowerToy is also still working, which is very nice. You see here that you have this beautiful bar as well expanding. On the right side of the taskbar, we actually have a split action center in two flyouts. So if you press on the clock here, uh, you can see some notifications as well as a calendar. And if you close this, you will see here, if you press on the settings, you will have a settings flyout. And this just looks very, very beautiful. Um, you can add and pin and unpin some settings as well. And if you here select the sound, you can quickly change this, the volume. So that is also a very beautiful sound. They did some amazing sound design for Windows 11. So it would have been very nice that if you press this arrow, it expands into different audio volumes for, um, for different uh, windows and different applications. So maybe that's an ID for the future, like uh, Air Trumpet. Something Microsoft has updated for Windows 11 is the context menu design. So here we're seeing some beautiful, easy on the eye settings. And if you press show more options, you will still have the older design with some more options, also in dark mode right here, which is very nice. So if we then open File Explorer, we will see that this design is also on here. Also noticing some beautiful expanding. This as well looks very nice. 
But if we go to File Explorer, you will see that it had in, has a new header. And with simpler options, it would have been very nice if they have an additional tab section so you can add different tabs, different File Explorer tabs, but maybe that's an idea for the future. And as well, the same context menu on this one, which I like a lot. New colorful icons, which I think are very coherent and nice. So next to this, they actually updated the settings panel. So if we right click on this, we go to settings, we will see some very beautiful layout with some new icons as well. So we start off at system and on here, we can actually already see the Windows update, which is very easy. Furthermore, I have noticed some amazing scaling uh, on my two monitors with 4K and um, 1440p. So that is something I'm liking a lot. So when we press Bluetooth and devices, we're already seeing some very nice new icons for different devices. Something else I've noticed is the open your phone with some nice animations. You can actually press iPhone. I'm really excited to try this one out and it will be on your taskbar as well. We cannot cover everything. I am aware of that because it will take too long, but an interesting part of the settings panel is the personalization. So on here, we can choose between different already pre-made themes, choose backgrounds and do some other things. Colors, accent colors. We can also choose dark theme that we're seeing right now, which looks very nice. And the transparency effects, we could turn that off, but I want to keep it on for now. Right here, when we move over to themes and go to mouse, you actually see a new design. And I think this design was already there on Windows 10 at some places, but I believe that they might actually change this design, this the mouse cursor design to this one. And that really excites me. So when we click on other mouse cursor settings, we will still see the older settings tab um, in white design in light theme uh, but we see some round corners there so that is nice some round buttons so that is looking very promising if we go back to personalization we actually see a touch keyboard and i think this one is amazing for people that are using a laptop with touchscreen or a laptop that can uh, become a tablet or just a tablet in general to have a nice uh, keyboard so you have a lot of different designs and options and you can even create your own which is very nice uh, let's take a look at what it looks like so right here this is the keyboard just looking very nice uh, we can make it bigger maybe large oh that doesn't change maybe it changes the yeah it changes the size of the font okay last but not least we can go over to windows update and we'll see this tab is modernized as well with a very beautiful design Continuing on, we have some other features here that if you right click, for example, now you have Windows Terminal. And if you press that, the admin panel has been updated in a nice dark theme as well, which looks very nice. Open that. So when we open the task manager, you will see that it will have a new icon, but still the light theme, though I noticed that the scroll bars are actually updated and these are looking very nice. I'm curious to see if they will change this to dark mode as well. I'm sure they will. So let's continue with the snap layout. We see here if we hover the maximize button, you will get some different layouts. So this one, press that or maybe even something like this. I'm not sure. Very nice. And I believe you can maximize and minimize this group as well. Not entirely sure how that works. So let's now open the Microsoft Store. So this is looking a lot better than it used to. We're seeing some bugs here, but that's fine because it's still a very early build, but it's looking very nice. So we're seeing a new layout, some rounded corners as well. I'm really excited for this. Yeah, so this will be the new layout. I think it looks great. Also the design, pop-ups, this is very beautiful. So yeah, I think that's about it. Let's close this up. Thus far, my first impression of the first official Windows 11 build. If you'd like to try it yourself, go to settings, 
find updates, find the Windows Insider program at the bottom. From here, you can select the developer channel, which will let you download and install this very first version of Windows 11. All right, that concludes my first look. I hope it made you excited for future releases. And I'm also planning on making a video on everything you need to know about Windows 11 very soon. So subscribe if you're interested in something like that. For any further Windows 11 conversations, join us over at Discord. The link will be in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.